All right, everyone, this is Miss Alyssa. She's a new teacher, and she'll be watching you guys this summer. Hi, Hi Miss Alyssa. Alyssa. Hello. Miss Alyssa? Yes? How old are you? I'm 19. Oh, so you're almost an adult. As you guys know, I have a cat named Luigi. And as you also know, my parents said, all right, you can get a cat, but we can't help you pay for it. So to make that fat cat money, I worked at an after-school program for kids K through five. I actually went there too when I was their age. And when I got older, the supervisor, so my former teacher, asked if I would like to work there. I'll call her... Miss Sheriff, because boy did she run a strict town. But guys, in all honesty, this was my favorite job. No other job will you wake up before the sun, walk into a workplace where a million little voices cheer your name, and everyone comes and gives you a hug at seven in the morning. Every morning. Okay, maybe Disneyland? But I've never worked at Disneyland, because I'm not tall enough to be anything more than a chipmunk. Anyway, I think as adults we become so wrapped up in our stressful adult lives that we forget what it was like to be a kid. We forget that we once were a kid. But before I tell you these stories, quick important disclaimer. To protect names, identities, and privacy, I'll be using fake names for everyone, and their character designs will not represent what they look like in real life. So, let's start with Delaney. Alright, if Delaney was a food, she'd be fun dip. Super sweet and 100% made of sugar. The way she introduced herself to me was, Hi, my name is Delaney, I have two loose teeth, my favorite color is yellow because it's bright and happy and wonderful like the sun! She was just a ball of happiness and optimism like I've never witnessed before. And I hope she never loses that. Another memorable kid I'll call Devin. He loved all things sports and being active outside but he was also really caring and genuine. See, one day while I was getting snacks ready, this little dude stomped and stormed in, did not pass the snack table, did not collect the Cheez-Its, and that's how I knew something was up. So I sat down with him, but before I could get a word in, he turned to me and said, do you know what the most evil thing in the world is? And I'm thinking, oh, Devin, I know a million horrible things about the world. So what on God's green earth did you find out today? But you know, out loud I said, no, tell me, what is the most evil thing in the world? And he says, plastic. And he goes off about littering, landfills, fossil fuels, acid rain, CO2 emissions, our carbon footprint. This little dude just learned about pollution and he was fuming. And I love that for him, cause you know, there are people my age who think global warming is a myth. So I'm here to assure you guys, the kids are all right. However, this job, like any job, has its downsides. Well, just one downside, customer service. And by that I mean dealing with dissatisfied parents. This last story is about a kid I'll call Bo. During my first few shifts, I noticed Bo really liked to play pretend with, uh, how do I say this? Water. Guns. Like, this was the only thing he wanted to play. If some kids were playing dinosaurs, he'd find a way to make them go extinct early. If some kids were playing house or shops, he'd be the bad guy robbing and threatening them. This was the only way he wanted to play pretend. For hours, day after day. And this kid was like, six? And his preferred pretend play was very graphic and explicit. You know, for a first grader. But I mean, it, it was also the South, and I wasn't raised in a gun-toting household, so I figured maybe I was just the weird one here. So I told my supervisor, hey, uh, that little boy Bo really likes to play, um, guns. Should I be concerned? And she looked at me like, oh, he knows better. So apparently, this was such a known bad pattern of behavior that it was agreed playing guns was instant timeout with Miss Sheriff. And that was huge because that's super timeout. You go to the big kid room and sit with the big kid teacher in big kid timeout. That's basically jail for a kid. But you know, credit where credit is due. 
Kids are smart. This little dude figured I didn't know, and boy, was I played like a fiddle. So the next day, as soon as I saw him pick up the big block and pretend it was an R2-D2-47 or something, I said, Bo, could you come with me? We need to go talk to Miss Sheriff. And I swear to goodness, the look on this kid's face said it all. How did she know? Like, come on, little dude. We knew this wouldn't last forever. Later, his mom enters the story, and I'll call her... Karen! That's not her real name. I never got her real name, but... I think this one fits. So Karen saunters into my K through two room, bow in tow. She's clearly already come into the building and broke her child out of big kid timeout. So I was like, oh, can I help you? And she says, yes. Why was my son in timeout? Oh, well, I may be new here, but I've been caught up with his behavioral history. And what do you mean by that? Well, Bo likes to use blocks and other things and pretend they're guns and then pretend that he's killing his friends. And we don't allow that kind of pretend. Well, why not? It's just pretend. It's not real. Ah. Uh, because that's very inappropriate for a six-year-old? Why? What's wrong with guns? Ma'am, this is a child. That's not exactly what I said, but it didn't matter anyway. She proceeded to chew me out about her Second Amendment rights and how people like me are the reason that guns are being taken away from people like her. And it is a shame that people like me are watching kids like hers and right at the height of this monologue, Miss Sheriff strolls in. And without skipping a beat, Karen says, So that is why my kids should- Oh, there you are, Miss Sheriff! Oh, Alyssa here was just telling us how Bo was playing guns again! And while they talked, I just stood there, dumbfounded by this woman's behavior. And it's times like this, I feel really bad for some kids and their households. I mean, I was confused by this. And I was 19. Almost an adult. I can't imagine how confusing this could be for a six-year-old. So once she left for good, I turned to my supervisor and said, you know what she just did? And my supervisor said, what did she do? She was just berating me for sending Bo to time out for playing guns and going off about why he should be able to play guns. But as soon as you walked in, she- No. Yeah. No. Yeah. So yeah, that's what working with kids was like. Thank you for watching. Hit like if you liked it, hit subscribe to see more. Don't play pretend guns or I will send you to timeout. And as always, stay safe.